can handle them. Now, on the first example, um, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, we can work into breaking, breaking problems down, right? And we can break them down in their prime factorization. So to break down 50, we can take 50 here. And I can do this as 5 times 10. And then 10 is 5 times 2. Then I can break x to the fifth as x times x times x times x times x, right? So I can write 5 times 5 times 2 times x times x times x times x times x. Now, this is what I call kind of like the easier method. It does sometimes take a while. Now, for a, for a small and easy problem like this, it's not going to really take that long. However, for larger problems, it might be a little bit more difficult to use this method. But what's nice about this is you guys can physically see, if I'm taking the square root, then I'm looking for pairs of numbers, numbers multiplied by themselves. So I can take out 5. I can take, I can take the square root of x times x. And I can take, take, take the square root of x times x. So the square root of 5 times 5 is just 5. Uh -huh. Square root of x times x is x. Uh -huh. Square root of x times x is x. And therefore, I'm left with a 2 and an x. Now, I simplify, and I have 5x squared times the square root of 2x. That was my question. Okay? Now, so for that one, that one's pretty basic. 